Now to today's focus, and we report on a one-man campaign here in France from just an ordinary man to defend the interests of society at large. Hervé Le Breton's uh, Pour une Democratie Directe, or For a Direct Democracy, discovered that MPs and senators have, for example, at their disposal a 150 million euro fund to finance projects in their districts without any kind of supervision. Well, thanks to his investigation that took thousands of hours, the fund has disappeared. But that's not all. Now he's moved on to another fight, making budget decisions public online. Well, Karina Charbour and Brian Quinn report on this rather enlightened French citizen. Minister, in accordance with Articles 14 and 15 of the Declaration of the Rights of the Man and of the Citizen and laws applying to these fundamental rights, in particular regarding public spending, I'm asking you to send me all communicable information from the ministry's electronic databases. In the southwest of France, this citizen is watching over taxpayers' money. A simple letter like this one is enough to obtain access to public information. Hervé Le Breton is a math teacher. For the last 12 years, his persistence has forced Parliament to make public its accounts. Now he's turning to the finance ministry to have access to the national budget. If they don't respond, then we can refer to the Commission on Access to Administrative Documents. Based on what they say, if the minister still doesn't respond, we will refer to the administrative tribunal that will say whether or not the minister had the right to refuse our request. Hervé Le Breton has already carried out these steps three times against the interior and finance ministries. These are the parliamentary reserve files. After two years, his association finally got the documents and discovered how each lawmaker used its parliamentary reserve, funding that until now has been given and used without supervision. He's determined to go all the way. Bonjour, Monsieur Le Breton, ça va? Ouais. Bonjour, Monsieur. This time, he hopes to get a response faster. Hervé Le Breton wrote about his long fight for greater transparency and public accounting in a book. He says he hopes to inspire others to become more aware and involved. Well, the book talks about 10 years of struggle to try to figure out how to do politics differently and how citizens can get involved in politics, and all this with tangible results. In this bookstore, Readers are eager to meet him and find out more. I can't understand why the law says that taxpayers can verify that their money is being used correctly. It's not that they can verify, it's they should verify. Le Breton calls out citizens but also their representatives. In Paris, he relies on the network and digital skills of another association. Regard Citoyen, or Citizen Eyes, creates websites that analyze the work of MPs and senators. Tanguy Morlier set up a meeting with a ruling En Marche MP who belongs to a working group on digital democracy and the new forms of citizen participation. If there is no reason to hide this information, well, it has to be made public. The idea is indeed to go in that direction, but don't underestimate the work that administrations will have to provide to make this data available. When data is raw, it's pretty easy. The finance ministry does it. They just have to push a button, so to speak. And the next day, you have all the fiscal data you want. Once a week, the MP opens her office to the outside world. Developers, designers and researchers brainstorm on how to further implicate French voters in political decision-making. Paula Forteza hopes to make citizen participation lawmakers' fourth mission. What makes me smile is the three objectives you just mentioned. It's almost too ambitious. Assessing public policies, just that, it's something huge. You're right, but it's something that's already being done, at least in our parliamentary group. We have a lot of young MPs that come from civil society with a lot of new ideas.
Well, thank you for being so welcoming. I'll see you soon. Le Breton picked up on the good intentions, but he wants results. When it comes to communicating, whether at the presidential level or among MPs, everyone is calling for transparency. Well, now it's time to actually do it. Beyond France's political parties, Le Breton hopes to help politics evolve in the way it's carried out to continue to defend the general interest.